celebrated American author, Maya Angelou, writes how important it is for us to recognize and celebrate our heroes and our sheroes. The new war memorial, designed and constructed by the Ministry of Public Works, with landscaping provided by the Department of Parks, marks the fulfillment of government's wish to pay tribute to every man and woman who served our island during the Great Wars. The new memorial will remain forever as a glowing example of government doing the right thing. During the first 100 days, the government demonstrated its commitment to preserving and strengthening the island's critically important hotel industry in two significant ways. Passage of the Baseland Development Act 2010 in December, whereby the BLDC was given the legal authority to offer a lease for as long as 262 years, paved the way for the tabling of the sublease with respect to the $80 million Nine Beaches development at Daniel's Head and Sands Parish. The government also tabled the bill entitled Morgan's Point Resort Act 2010, paving the way for the development of a world-class mixed-use tourism facility in Morgan's Point, Southampton, along with the obvious benefits to the construction industry. Consideration of the Nine Beaches Resort sublease and the Morgan's Point Resort Bill will continue during the forthcoming legislative session. The government embarked on, upon a major road improvement scheme near the entrance to the Horseshoe Bay, Southampton, one of the island's most popular beaches. The scheme will enhance the safety of both motorists and pedestrians. It will also facilitate buses discharging their passengers far more safely, particularly during the tourism season when hundreds of cruise ship passengers converge on the beach daily. The scheme also includes the construction of a larger bus shelter for the eastbound passengers. <coughs> Asbestos containing material had been stockpiled in Bermuda for over 30 years, awaiting suitable disposal. Currently, these materials are stored at the government quarry and the former U.S. baselands at Sultans. As a result of ongoing deterioration of the storage containers, it is essential that we develop a disposal method for the currently stored asbestos which has yet to be removed from the structures in Bermuda. During the first 100 days, the government has taken major steps to resolve this long outstanding matter. The Ministry of Public Works has reviewed all available disposal options, inclusive of a cost analysis, and within the next few weeks, we'll see cabinet's approval for a recommended disposal option. Many East End residents have experienced difficulty in assessing potable water in the past. In order to address this matter, the government commissioned a reverse osmosis plan intended to increase the government's potable water supply and distribution capabilities from 35,000 to 155,000 US gallons per day for the clients in the East and who received pipe water. The government also re relocated the containerized reverse osmosis plant to Ships Wharf in St. Davis to assist the BLDC in the provision of potable water to its water truckers outlet, principally for the benefit of the residents of the East End. Thank you.